Yes, 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 yes. Three times. I'm trying this one more time. You know, the whole point of this this show is to be able to... Oh, by the way, I'm Russ Johns. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate your your time and attention. And I do these things because I want you to have a better day. I want you to enjoy your day, as I always say. You know, YouTube, podcasting, LinkedIn, Facebook. I share it everywhere. And one of the things that I want to make sure that you you have available to you is something positive in your day, something motivational. And today's quote is, is special. You know, it's special because you have to let go of the thoughts that do not make you strong, that no longer make you strong. You know what I'm talking about. You know the ones I'm talking about, the ones that are in your head, the enemy in your head saying, you know, the doubt, beliefs, all of these things. You know, we all have thoughts, good and bad. So I encourage you to think along the lines of, you know, the positive signs, you know, because what we do in our thoughts it helps our survival, you know. Negative thoughts can be a tragic event. And and I, I, I pray for all those that have lost friends or family due to negative thoughts. Suicide's a real issue. And if you need help, I encourage you to go get help. Talk to people. Talk to a professional. Reach out. And, uh, and don't minimize the risk. Just don't. So thinking, taking action, you know, processing this, moving our ideas and, and, and coming out with an outcome that we can actually move forward with is always important. It's a critical to our survival. So the last episode, I mentioned something about removing people from your life. Now what I want to talk about is removing the thoughts, the negative thoughts, the self-talk, the, you know, like I said, the enemy in your head. I want to remove that from your, from your psyche, from your conversation, your daily conversation. So don't allow your thoughts to sab- sabotage your progress. You know, we all have those thoughts and we all feel bad once in a while, you know, and nobody's exempt from that. If you think there's somebody out there that's so positive that they never have a negative thought, bullshit all right so don't allow your thoughts to sabotage your progress create a method that works for your meth you know that works for you whether it's receiving an email every day like tut you know and, and you can actually receive a positive you know message every single day a mastermind that keeps you accountable accountability group that keeps you accountable, you know, somebody that you're actually using to nourish your brain and your thoughts and your actions in in a positive way. And find people that encourage and support you, you know, that provide value in everything, you know, from your thoughts to your actions to your, your ideas, your conversations. And the thought of the day or the um, tip of the day, here's the tip of the day, is is in the next week, take an inventory. You know, you can write it down. You can take a mental note. And if, if you're having more negative thoughts than positive thoughts throughout the day, just notice what they are and what they're surrounding. And some of the challenging negative thoughts that you have, you know, start to imagine what kind of solutions you can build into your life to allow you to change those thoughts, improve those thoughts, bring them up a notch or two. You know, the mind is a powerful thing. We, we take in a lot more than we actually perceive. So perception is reality. If you focus on something, you're going to, you're going to attract more to you. And so 
I encourage you to take a moment and do an inventory and improve your inventory. So I'm Russ Johns, and this is Reviewed by Russ. And my two-minute tips. Thank you so much for being here. And it looks like third time's a charm. So you enjoy your day.